So in today's video, I'm gonna be filming a cruelty-free makeup tutorial. Not only did I wanna include brands that were like globally distributed that we all know and love, but I also wanted to include some indie brands, some influencer-owned brands. So I have a pretty good mix here. I'm also going to be using some cruelty-free makeup brushes. Now, don't come for me if I switch to a brush that's not cruelty-free. I'm literally that type of person that if I can't use my day-to-day -day brushes, I kind of freak out. I'm a creature of habit, so I use brushes over and over again because they're instilled in like my routine so I'm gonna try to step outside of my routine and use some brushes that I don't typically use on my channel just because they are cruelty free and I want to give you some really awesome cruelty free options with that if you guys are not subscribed make sure you guys subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button also if you want to be notified make sure you click that little bell so that way YouTube will notify you anytime I upload which has been every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time three times a week, every single week. Who missed that? I know, I sure did. With that, you guys, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So let's actually start off with the obvious. My eyebrows are already done. I did do them off camera for the sake of timing. I did use the ABH Brow Wiz. This one is in the shade Medium Brown. What I love about this brow pencil is that it is super slim, so it's really easy for me to fill in my brows with. I also love the spoolie on one end and the retractable brow pencil on the other end. Super, super convenient. Honestly, this is a little bit pricey, so you don't have to break the bank with your brow pencil. CoverGirl has one just like it. It. Elf has one just like it. All of those brands are cruelty free as well. So definitely do your homework and your research as it comes to your brow pencil because you don't need to spend a lot of coin. I'm just using this because I have it on hand. Okay. Let's move on to eye primer. I will be using this by Anastasia. This is their brand new eye primer. What I love most about it is that it is light in color. So it's really going to make my shadows stand out and pop. It is pretty fluid though. So definitely be careful when you're squeezing out the eye primer because like I said, it is a little bit on the fluid side. It definitely runs a little bit. So definitely be careful with that. The brush I'm going to use to apply it is this one by Dominique Cosmetics. It is the DSO5, the pigment brush. It kind of leans more towards like a concealer brush to me personally but again you can also pack pigment on with this I'm just going to pop this all over the lid and then I'm gonna lightly blend it upwards I don't want this color to be too stark and harsh directly underneath my brow bone which is why I am starting pretty low with it and then with more of a fluffy brush I'm just going to pat this all over just to ensure that the base is laying very even and nice and the brush I'm using is just an angled concealer brush by Collab. Collab can be found at Sally Beauty Stores and it is a cruelty-free brand. Now, one thing I always make it a point to do, especially if I know I'm gonna be working with some kind of color for my eyeshadow, is that I will go in with just a bone colored shadow or a face powder. This one right here is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade One Fair. I am using a rather light shade on a fluffy brush like this and I'm just gonna rock it right here in my crease. This is gonna act as a really nice thin layer of shadow before I actually go in with my transitional shade. It's just gonna make things a lot easier for me to blend. For eyeshadow today, I will be using a brand new eyeshadow palette. This is the Celestial Storm palette by Dominique Cosmetics. If you guys didn't know, Dominique Cosmetics definitely has to be one of my favorite influencer owned brands. When I saw her post this over on the brand's Instagram page, I was blown away. I really love the color story. I love that there is a mixture between cool tones and warm tones. I love that I don't have to necessarily play around with color. I can just gravitate towards this side right here and create a very wearable, very just like pretty neutral look without having to dip into any of these colors over here. But I also love that I have the option to play with color if in fact I do want to. So for today's video, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Psych. I'm definitely gonna play around with some color, but I'm not gonna dip into the blues or anything like that since I literally just created a blue look using the ABH Norvina palette. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will have it listed right up here in the cards. So with that being said, the first shade I'm gonna pick up is this shade right here. It's called Lucid Dreams. It is a really beautiful pink shade. And I'm gonna take a crease brush by Collab and I'm just going to start stamping this color right here in the crease. Now I'm not gonna worry too 
too much about blending out the color as of right now. I do essentially just want to stamp it in place. After stamping on the majority of that color, I am gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna use the DS04, the crease brush. Don't mind the bristles, they are stained. I guess one of the biggest things I don't really love about the brushes is that they do get stained very, very easily. So I'm just going to take this and really diffuse out this edge so that way it's nice and blended. So I will definitely say the pink is super, super vibrant. I now wanna go in with the shade called Lunar Eclipse, which is this orange shade right here. I'm gonna take it on that same blurring crease brush and I'm just going to simply just add a little bit of that orange so that way it peeks through over the pink. Like you want people to do a double take. You want them to be like, okay, is it pink? Is it orange? Like what's happening here, you know? Um, I'm gonna take this brush now. This is the DS03, the blending and shade brush. And I'm going to just simply run it alongside the edge to blend it a little bit more. Cause as you can see, it is pretty, pretty high up there. And this is just going to give it more of a diffused effect. Now this next step is totally optional, but I am gonna cut my crease with a little bit of the ABH eye primer. I really love this for cutting my crease in particular, because like I said, it is more of a lighter shade. It's extremely fluid, so it's really, really easy to work with. I took a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use the pigment brush by Dominique Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna stamp out a little bit of lid space. Then what I like to do is I like to take just a fluffy brush here and I'll kind of tap on the edge just to give it a softer blend into all of the matte shades. So, so far things are looking really good. I'm now gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Storm Dust. It is a really beautiful warm tone brown shade, more like a sienna. And I am going to just tap it right here on the outer V to really just intensify this area. I'm just going in with that blurring crease brush and I'm just gonna softly blend it out. I'm also gonna pick up just a little bit more to just re-intensify it. Now I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's called Solstice. It is a really beautiful kind of like peachy shimmer shade and I'm gonna top that all over my eyelid. I really wanna put it over top of the area where I cut my crease and allow it to blend into this matte shade a little bit better. Cause as you can see, it's like a little patchy in this area where I had a little bit of that eyeshadow primer sitting. Nothing against the eyeshadow palette at all. It could just be the eye primer I lay directly over top. So I'm gonna take the pigment brush by Dominique Cosmetics. And instead of using MAC Fix Plus today, I'm gonna use the Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray by Catrice. Literally the same thing. This is amazing, a game changer. If you guys haven't tried it, I definitely recommend that you try it out. I'm going to simply just start stamping this all over the lid and ooh, that is so pretty. I really wanna make sure I get the shimmer super close to that edge I created with the concealer. The next and last shade I wanna stick right next to the shade called Solstice is Fireball, just because I think it will allow this matte shade to blend in a little bit better. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna tap it right next to that peachy tone shade. Right now, this is what things are looking like. I will definitely say I really, really, really love the eye look so far. This side right here is just slightly patchy and it could just be me and the way I prime my eyelids because if you look at this side right here, it blended very, very nicely, very seamless, whereas this one just had a little bit of problems. But you know what? I have to keep it going. I have to keep it rolling. So I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna clean up the fallout right here underneath my eye. Let's actually move on to face primer. I do have a few different face primers, which is a little bit embarrassing, but I use all of these primers for different reasons. I'm gonna go in with the Chill Pill Primer and Skin Booster by Collab. You guys, this is one of our brand new primers that we launched in the beginning of the year, and I really, really love it. I'm gonna take a pump of it, and I'm going to put this all over. This is really going to soothe and balance the skin. It feels so incredible. It really just calms my skin down before I go in with all of the other primers products also did i mention it smells like lavender like if that's not calming i don't know what is Anyways, let's actually move on. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This, again, is another one of my favorites. What I love about it is that it is extremely tacky, so anything I put on top of this, it's really going to stick to it, and it's gonna last all throughout the day. 
There's also a spot on dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. If you guys have been wanting to get your hands on that, this is a really, really awesome dupe for it. The last primer I'm gonna use is by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You guys already know, spot on dupe for the Top to Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna put it right here in this area because this is the area where I have slightly enlarged pores and a little bit of uneven skin texture. So this primer is really gonna help smooth everything out. I do actually like to use a brush to smooth this out. I just feel like it blends it out a lot better. This right here is the ABH A30 kind of like a buffing foundation brush, but I'm gonna use it to really pat that primer into the skin. If you guys have any favorite like cruelty-free products, let me know down below in the comments because I don't know, I feel like you guys give off some really, really awesome recommendations whenever it comes to products. And sometimes I find like personal favorites just by scrolling through the comments. The foundation I'm gonna use today is this one right here. This is the brand new Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I am the shade 220 and I find that this is a really, really good match for me. So I'm going to take my mixing palette and. I'm going to pump like maybe four pumps on the back of my tray and I'm gonna buff and blend it out with a sponge. But first I like to really dot it all over the face. I will definitely say I'm like so fed up with my skin. It's like when it gets better, it gets bad within the next few days. And I have really no idea how to combat all of my acne. I've seen my dermatologist. They put me on so many different meds, so many different topical treatments. And honey, my skin just like is not having it. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the sponge. I am gonna spray the sponge with a little bit of the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray by Catrice. And I'm gonna buff and blend it out. So this here is about one layer of the foundation. I'm gonna go in and I'm really gonna build it up to full coverage. If you guys haven't seen my review on the ABH foundation, I definitely recommend that you guys check it out because I really, really ended up loving this foundation. I love the overall coverage. I love how it wears throughout the day. It really is just a beautiful, beautiful foundation on the skin. Now that I have my foundation on, I definitely wanna add a little bit of wing eyeliner to this look. So I'm gonna use this black liquid eyeliner by Anastasia, literally become one of my personal favorites. If you guys have and tried it yet, I definitely recommend. It's incredible. Okay, so I have my liner on. It definitely got a little bit thicker and a little bit more thicker because, girl, I could not get it right for the life of me. I definitely need to practice my wing liner a little bit more often just so that way I don't have that problem. But I'm gonna move on to concealer. I will be using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 22. I wanna say this is a little bit on the light side, so I'm gonna try to use it very, very sparingly just so that way I don't look crazy. And now I'm just gonna buff it out with my sponge. And since this concealer is so light, whatever is left on my sponge, I'm just going to kind of tap it onto my forehead just so that way I don't completely alter the color of my foundation. Like I still want to brighten, but I don't want to put on too much. So I'm just tapping whatever's left down the center of my face. Now you can see it added some nice color but not too much. For loose face powder, I'm gonna use a little bit of this from CoverGirl. This is the new CoverGirl True Blend Loose Mineral Powder in the shade Translucent. I actually do really like this powder, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it on my sponge, tap off the rest on the back of my hand just so that way I don't put on too much, and then I'll just kind of press it underneath the eye. I don't wanna put too much of this. Also, can we just talk about the fact that CoverGirl is now cruelty-free? I feel like that was such a big move for them. I feel like anytime a brand goes from not being cruelty-free to cruelty-free, it's such a big deal. Whereas like brands who are cruelty-free and then they're not cruelty-free, that doesn't really make sense to me. Like why would you go in reverse? Which leads me to my next question. I really genuinely wanna know if Wet n Wild is still cruelty-free. Some people say they are, some people say they aren't. So I'm a little confused. If you guys have any information information on that definitely let me know because I'm really really interested now I'm only gonna take this powder around my nose underneath my eyes I'm not gonna take it like all over my face just because I will be using a powder by Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury is also a cruelty free brand which is stellar so amazing so I'm gonna take this shade right here the shade is number one fair this is the airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder and I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just gonna kind of sweep it 
right underneath my eye to further brighten. And you could also tap this as well instead of sweeping it. By the way, the brush I'm using is a multitasker brush. This is by the brand Collab. And for all over the face, I'm gonna use another Charlotte Tilbury powder. This powder right here is in the shade two medium. And I'm actually gonna apply this with my sponge and I'm gonna start pressing it all over the areas where I didn't put that loose powder. This is really gonna lock the foundation in and give me a really beautiful finish to the skin. The falsies I will be putting on today are these by Salon Perfect. This is a brand new collaboration with Brittany Bear Makeup. This is in the style Verified. Out of all three she came out with, this definitely has to be one of my favorite lash styles. So I'm gonna pop these on and I will be right back. All right, and this is what the lashes look like on. They are super, super pretty. I also finished off my very lower lash line with the same shadow I put on my lid. And I popped on a color liner in my waterline because y'all know I love using these by ColourPop. They are my all-time favorite and ColourPop is cruelty-free as well. So it works out. For bronzer today, I will be using this by Cover FX. This is the monochromatic bronzer duo. It has a matte and a shimmer in it. I really love these duos. They also have them in blush form. Y'all, the blushes are incredible. I also really love the shimmer. I don't know what it is. It just looks insanely beautiful whenever I use it. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. This is our multitasker brush by Collab. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of that bronzer there and I'm going to use this to add some nice color and shading to the skin. So I'm just going to start here and you really don't need a lot of this product it is very very pigmented buildable and blendable so I'm going in with a little bit at a time and then I'm going to start building it up where I see fit I'm also going to take some on my temples for blush today, I will be using these bad boys right here by Flower Beauty. These are the Flower Pot Powder Blushes. You guys know for so long, these are my absolute favorite and it has not changed. I still love them very much. I actually haven't used them in a hot minute on my channel, which I'm very, very sad about. So I'm gonna bust them out. I have two shades here. I have PB4, which is really, really pretty. I think it's gonna complement the look very nicely. And then I also have PB2. For me personally, I like to mix the two together to get more of a custom shade. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna use this brush right here. This is the Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. It is a little bit smaller than the one that I typically use and the only reason I'm using this is because all of my other brushes that are cruelty free are actually dirty. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of PB4 and PB2 and just smile and apply my cheek color. Wow, y'all see that cheek popping? It has like a little bit of a glow to it and it's because of the shade called PB4. It has some really, really beautiful like shimmer iridescence in it. I don't know if you could really see that, but it is so pretty. If you pop just the right amount of this on the apples of your cheeks, you can kind of skip out on highlighter completely, but y'all know me, I really do love to glow and plus I really wanna highlight this next brand, which is Persona Cosmetics. The shade I'm using is Zuma. This is the Kali glow highlighter this is such a beautiful highlighter that i absolutely love you guys i'm going to pop some of this on the highest points of my cheeks i'm also going to take some on the tip of my nose and that was a lot so whatever's left on the brush bridge and temples now, I don't know if it's just me, but I also really love to take a little bit of whatever highlighter I'm putting on and pop it right here in the very inner corner. So I'm just going to take a little and just dab it there. But I think that like really brightened up the eyes and just made things like pop a little more. The last and final thing I have to do is lips. So I have two different lip liners that I really wanted to highlight in today's video. The first one is from Jouer. This is the Long Wear Cream Lip Liner in the shade Fawn. You guys, Jouer has some of my favorite products. I love their blushes, their concealers, their lip liners. Like I love so many of their products. Like their lip liners are so incredibly creamy on the lips. They don't tug at all. And I really love this shade right here. They blend out so nicely as well. As you can see, I was able to blend that out very very easily I also want to highlight this next lip liner this is the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade London the two shades that I picked out are very similar to each other but if I had to pick one over the other I would definitely pick the one from Jouer just because it's a lot easier for me to blend it out not that the NYX one doesn't blend out nicely I just really love the formula of the one from Jouer so I'm gonna use this one to line my lips and fill them in completely I 
I also want to go in with an actual lipstick. I'm gonna use this by ColourPop. It is one of their luxe cream lipsticks in the shade of What's Your Sign. This is so incredibly beautiful. It is a spot on dupe for Stark Naked by Urban Decay, but I'm just gonna take this and just kinda go over it. It is a little bit lighter than my lip liner, which is really, really good. I'm gonna go in with a gloss. I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Over the Top, which is a collaboration with Desi and Katie. And I'm just gonna pop some on the center. Last but not least, this is the Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray by Catrice to set my entire face down and in place. So this right here is the final and completed cruelty-free makeup look. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Now this was my first time trying out the Celestial Storm palette. I didn't have any major issues except with the little hiccup right here, but I feel like after putting on that intense cat eye wing, it's not as noticeable. All in all, everything else was incredible. They're all products that I know, love, and would recommend a million times over. I'm definitely going to experiment more with this palette, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I really want to create a really fun poppy blue and purple look over on my Instagram TV. So if you guys aren't following me over on the gram, I highly recommend that you guys follow me over there. If you know of any other cruelty-free brands that I did not mention in today's video, I would love it if you guys would comment them down below in the comment section, just because I feel like it's really helpful, not only for me, but other people watching as well. I don't have much else to say, except I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.